Hey, this is Sam, and this is the second video in my Rue weekly competition series. This is the first one-handed episode, and I'm just going to be talking about my journey and progress in specifically one-handed today. I have recently gotten a great interest in one-handed because I use Rue. And when I originally chose Rue, I did not specifically have one-handed in mind. But now that I've discovered how good Rue is for one-handed, I've become a lot more interested because it's something that I'll probably be able to get good at with a decent amount of practice, of course. And I do want to get to the level where I am podiuming regularly in one-handed. Also in two-handed, but I feel that in one-handed that's going to come first just because of how good Rue is for one-handed. Now, I've been thinking about one-handed, of course, a lot. And when it comes to thinking about cubing, it comes to thinking about cubes. So my current main for one-handed is the Waylong WRM 2021 Lite Edition. And this was my second 2H main. I don't like it. I am not a huge fan of it for two-handed. And... I'd much rather my Tornado V3 flagship, and for one-handed, I don't like it very much either. I actually well almost like the Tornado V3 better, but right now my Tornado V3 magnet settings are higher for two-handed. So I don't want to always have to be switching the magnet settings every single time I'm going to switch the event I'm practicing, and I've just decided to stick with the Waylong WRM 2021 Lite for one-handed practice. I've been looking into getting a better one-handed cube. In fact, I was about to buy the Super Ball Core RS3M because that is a very popular one-handed cube, especially amongst three users, and popular for two-handed as well. But then the YS3M Huamen got released, and I've been considering it. After what I'm hearing, it looks like I might still go with the Super Ball Core RS3M, but I also kind of want to wait until the Magic Clothes YS3M Huaman comes out. Not a lot of it has been heard about. Uh, not a lot of it has been heard of, but there have been some teasers, I think, about it. And uh, from what I understand, it could be something to do with the exterior coating. So who knows? I might wait for that. I might not. I'm currently averaging 27 seconds with one handed. My PB single is 18.85, and my PB average of 5 is 24.62. Um, this average I got, I was very dissatisfied with this average. I got a 34 second average, and this was largely due to my DNF on solve number three, if I am correct. I think it was solve number three that I DNF'd, and I DNF'd by an M move. That's something that sometimes happens with Rue. It, um, since Rue, you sometimes end on M moves instead of U moves. Uh, like with CFOP, your probability of DNFing compared to plus twoing is much higher with Rue. But of course, if you just have accurate turning, like if you get a DNF, you don't want DNFs to be so probabilistically significant where it should affect the method you choose. I think is what I would say. Um, that's just something you have to improve in your turning. But I was very dissatisfied with that DNF because it really made my average a lot worse. Without that DNF, the average would have been 28 seconds, which is still worse than my global one-handed average. But considering that it was with timed inspection, I wouldn't be unsatisfied. But it was 34 seconds, which was very, very bad. So unfortunate DNF, a very good last solve, a 21 second last solve, which is definitely up there in the solves I've done, probably one of the top 5 or 10 solves that I've done very good with that. And I am happy with that single at least. So tell me down below in the comments what kind of cubing content, what, what more cubing content you want to see from me, whether that be competition stuff, uh, tutorials, reconstructions, whatever it may be. And I will see you in the next episode of these competitions. Hopefully I do a little bit better in one-handed next time. See you.